The COVID-19 pandemic is canceling events around the world. Day after day, for the first time in more than 50 years, Special Olympics Ohio not going to play the 2020 Games. NBC4's Daniel Grossman with more on the decision. Events have been canceled across the nation due to COVID-19. So when the news came out that the summer games were canceled for the Special Olympics, athletes tell me they weren't surprised. A bit bummed out, but hey, better safe than sorry. Connor Kennedy's been counting down until this year's games on OSU's campus. Last year, I was, I played doubles with my buddy Will, and we got gold. But for him and his peers, their summer sports will take a back seat. It's sad for them because it's something they look forward to every year, but it is in their best interest. Their Disney World that they look forward to uh, each and every year. But Connor, the 3,000 other athletes, over 1,000 volunteers and coaches, will have to wait just one more year. And Ohio State came out with the guidance last Friday that they were closing their campus to all um, outside events um, through July 6th. So no location, no games. But that's not the only reason they decided to cancel. Many of those students have compromised immune systems and underlying diseases as well. The Special Olympics has been closely watching the governor's orders and knew this was the right thing to do. So now they'll have to pivot and refocus their energy. That's really what we you know, are, are focused on at this point is trying to maintain the health and fitness of our athlete population. And it looks like Connor's adapting at home. There's a lot of push-ups involved, too. Now it's time to start a new countdown to next year's games. This is our plan to be much more of a celebration. Organizers hope that all the athletes continue to stay active so they can look forward to the sports in the fall. Local for you, Danielle Grossman, NBC4.